G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today, something a little different. Now this is a run cam camera. I think we've all seen run cam cameras. We know what they look like. This is an, an eagle, no, an owl, sorry, it's an owl. You can tell by the little logo. They always have a cute little logo. This is a run cam owl, but it's not a very good run cam owl. Not, oh, the run cam owl is a fine camera, but this particular one, as you can see, has a little problem. Okay, yes. Uh, this one was pounded nose first straight into the tarmac, hence the lens has been completely shattered, destroyed, and it's actually cross-threaded it, pushed it in so hard that it's actually munged up the threads on the case as well as the lens itself. So this lens, she is no good. What I'm going to do today is, because it also, it has a, should be able to hear that, has a rattle. <laughs> so I think it's beyond hope. I don't think replacing the lens would put this back into working order. So what we're going to do is just a bit of a post-mortem because I always enjoy looking at something that's failed and working out how maybe it could be improved so it didn't fail again. And in this case, well, I don't think you can really protect a camera from this kind of abuse, but let's see what's happened inside the camera, see what other damage has been done. Right, I'll just remove the screws. Here we go. Let's take the back off and can't see too much there it doesn't look too bad does it I mean it's not nothing really to to grizzle it but let's just see what happens if I well no there's something definitely rattly in there how am I going to get this out is it a tight fit I'll have to do a jump cut one moment please right here we go I've got my granny glasses on and hopefully I'll be able to lever this out using this flathead here we go she's coming she's coming what's happened oh that's not looking good is it <laughs> That looks very bad. And I've heard of this happening before. It's, it's kind of a result of the way these things are made. We have this circuit board here, as you can see. And over here, let me just take this out. This is the sensor. This is the, the sensor that is normally soldered onto the circuit board. But you can see that the G-forces of the impact have actually ripped these solder pads right off the board. And you can see over here, you know, there's bits of board hanging off the sensor. And around here, you can see that's been ripped off around there. So Basically, solder alone, the, the, the actual board alone, is not strong enough to stop this from being damaged in a really sharp impact. I know I have found in the past, I have actually put some epoxy around these. See, there's no glue on the back of that. There you go, there's your sensor number for all those playing along at home. It's uh, something, a Brigalee, or some Brigalees? Brig Orig or oh, Origalis? I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, one thing I have done in the past, and I've done a video on it, is... When you get a camera, you can put some epoxy just all around the edge here, just to provide extra, extra strength. Because if this sensor hadn't come off, this is irreparable now. You, you just couldn't repair that. If that sensor hadn't come off, then we could have just screwed out the lens, put in another lens. That's got no IR filter, I don't think. Um, yeah, we could have, or is there one on the sensor? No, I don't see one. Um, yes, we could have just um, replaced the is that sensor. It's looking a bit secondhand inside too. Um, yeah. We could have just replaced the lens and would still be, you know, five or six bucks for a lens and be back in business. But as a result of this, the total camera is a write-off. Um, and no, it wasn't me. I didn't crash this into the runway at full speed. It was Ron. So just to keep you informed. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, sometimes it's worth, if you think you might be doing some crashing, to just reinforce. Don't get epoxy on the sensor. Be careful not to get dust on the sensor, but just some epoxy around the edges just to give it a bit of extra... Um, support in the case of those high G maneuvers. So there you go. That's it. We're not going to get any sense out of this thing. But other than that, these are a nicely made little camera. Um, the Owl isn't my favorite. Um, is this an Owl or an Owl Plus? I think it's a... The, um, where are we? I just can't tell. Anyway, um, yeah, they're a nice little camera. They were first of sort of the low light, but now with the Runcam Eagle, Night Eagle. Night Eagle just eats this for breakfast, I think. So... Or is it the other one? I can't remember. Anyway, look at my reviews. You'll see what I found, which is the best night vision camera because they're really, really good. I just love flying. I think, yeah, it was a night eagle, I think. Um, at, and on a moonlit night, you can fly as good as daytime. It's really brilliant what Runcam have done with these cameras. It's fantastic. So there you go. That's it. Um, I'll keep this for spares. You never know because um, sometimes these little inductors get chipped or break. Um, I'll just keep this. You never know when the spares might come in handy. So that's it. That's the end of the, of the Runcam eagle there's the sensor so there you go questions comments in the usual place now if you break stuff do you usually pull it apart and have a look because i think it's, it's really important because we've learned something today that epoxying around the sensor is really a good idea if you're going to do this sort of damage to your camera um 
I can't even use that lens on a good camera, can I? Actually, I don't know because I think it's just the protective outer glass that is broken. Probably could chip that glass off because it's not actually that is not actually lens. I think it's just a protective um, sort of slightly domed piece of glass. So the actual lens inside might be okay. But hey, for the money, why would you bother? That's it. Now, as I say, more FPV stuff coming up. We've got lots of projects underway. Just waiting for some stuff to arrive from Banggood, and we'll get that ultralight UA, um, FPV long-range system underway. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Comments, questions to the usual place, please. And I'll catch you next time on RC Model Reviews.